Mark, I'm going to Paris, Paris. to study music and art. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be an actress or a writer. But as we know, Anne did not get the opportunity to achieve her dream. The diary of Anne Frank follows the Frank family's life in hiding from the Nazis during the Second World War. Not only in the offices, but in the workrooms too. The men come at about 8.30, they leave at about 5.30, so to be perfectly safe from 8 in the morning until 6 in the evening. We must move about up here only when it is absolutely necessary, and then in stocking feet. During the Holocaust, six million European Jews along with seven million Soviet civilians, homosexuals, handicapped persons, and gypsies were murdered by Nazi Germany. Hitler's regime employed a campaign of genocide and ethnic cleansing based on religion, race, sexual orientation, and political opinion, among other things. The Franks, a Jewish family, lived in hiding for two years, always in constant fear. While the Franks were living in inhuman conditions, the outside world suffered from persecution. Hundreds of Jews disappear. They surround a block and they search house by house. Every day children come home from school to find their parents gone. Hundreds are being deported. People that... that in 1944, the Franks were found and arrested by the Nazis. Anne and her sister Margot were sent to concentration camps where they were killed. Though the Allies won the war in 1945, human rights violations related to religious persecution and ethnic cleansing are still a horrifying reality. For example, ISIS has been engaging in the supposed ethnic cleansing of indigenous Christians and other minorities in the Middle East. This violates the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which when drafted in 1948 was meant to make it clear that some rights, such as the right to life, liberty, security, and freedom of religion, are universal, regardless of sex, race, or nationality, and should never be violated. The Diary of Anne Frank is a testament to those humans who have suffered at the hands of an oppressive regime. Though her fate was decided by the malicious spirit of Hitler and the Nazis, those still alive today may have the opportunity to study music, become actors, and dance if their basic human rights are honored. The UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights says people everywhere in every era should be afforded dignity, respect, and the freedom to develop their talents and enrich the human community.